Hey guys, welcome into the shop today. I've been waiting to do this for a while and I'm finally going to get it done. The Carbide 3D Touch Probe. Yes, I finally got one. In all my videos, I say, I know I need a touch probe, I know I need one, but I've never got one. Well, Mr. Micah, I appreciate you. Man, I got on uh, Shapoko uh, Carbide 3D's Facebook page the other day and, and posted a little quick uh, comment about wanting to buy one from somebody. And by the end of the day, I, I had one sold to me. So, Micah, I appreciate it a whole lot. And today what we're going to do is we're going to go through the process of setting this guy up on an older Shapoko, not one that's been sent out with the newest firmware. Uh, we're going to have to upgrade our motion software because everything I have is over a year old. So we're going to get into it and I'm going to show you how to go ahead and set all this stuff up if you're dealing with some of your older equipment. So stay tuned and check it out. Okay guys, so here we are in a computer. First thing we need to do in this process, I'm understanding, is we need to update the GRBL software on our controller board. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to go to this website, and don't worry, I will have a link to it in the description of this video, and we need to download the updater. So it's either going to be Windows or Mac, and pretty simple, I mean, you know, in order to download a file, you just go through the steps, okay, open it up. I mean, this right here is pretty simple. I mean, I'm not here to explain to you how to download a file, but if you do need help, eh, ask me in the comments and I'll walk you through it. So we'll click on that because that's our application. We'll extract. Okay. Show our files. Now, I've already done this once uh, just to make sure it worked. And now our application should run. All right, then. So now we got that all open, we need to make sure device is connected and power on, okay? I know that's done, and search for machines. Okay, it says current GRBL version is .9, which is outdated. To update, hold the Z limit switch and press yes. All right, guys. Give me a second because I've got to walk into the machine and try and do this. As you can see already, you're going to have to be able to reach the machine and your computer at the same time. So hang on just a second while I walk over to the machine. Make sure you do not re- Okay, I released it. All right, so I'm going to hit it and hold it and click OK. Okay, I'm holding it. Yes. I'm still holding it. Huh. Interesting. Well, let's try this again. Oh, you know what? I'm kind of a ding dong sometimes. That was the Y switch. Hang on. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna stick something in there to hit the button with because I do not want it smashing my finger. Hey, there we go. Okay, I'm holding the limit switch down as it's doing this, and I'm not going to let it go until it tells me. Okay. Okay. That's it. I'm upgraded. All right, well, let's go back up top. Okay, guys, we got that done. I got to laugh at myself a little bit. Yeah, yeah. You would figure the guy that built the machine would know the difference between the Z and the Y axis switch, but, uh, you know, sometimes your brain gets a little fried. It's not from drugs, trust me. But anyway, we got that done. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go in there and we're going to update Carbide Motion because I've never updated it, even though the new one's been out for a while. So pretty much just like that, let's go do it. Okay guys, here we are. Might look a little familiar. This is the same screen we were on. All you go, uh, bleh. All you gotta do is go over here to Carbide Motion V4, and this is going to take you to the link that you need to download the most current version, which is version four of Carbide Motion. So we'll simply click it. 
I'm using Windows, so Windows download, save the file. Pretty elementary stuff here. Uh, wait for it to download a little bit. Wi-Fi in the garage is a little slow, so you'll have to bear with me. But we get that downloaded. Yes. Next. I accept. Oh, do we need to sit here and read this? Nobody does? Okay. Accept. Next. Next. Install. Setup is preparing to install. Please wait while setup installs. Alrighty then. Alright. Next. Finish. Finish. And where's it at? Where is it at? Is this the newest version? Let's check. It would have had to have replaced that one. Okay, this has got to be it because this doesn't look anything like the old one. So that's it. We've upgraded card by motion. That was really simple and I didn't screw it up at all. Excellent. Okay, so here comes the fun part. Since I have my machine in an enclosure, we need to pull this thing out and set it up to where we can access the control board because we're going to have to figure out which version of the control board we have so we know how to hook up the touch probe. Different versions of the board require different wires to go in different places. So I'm going to get in there and I'm going to get this thing out enough to where we can do that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, go ahead and crack the cover of this open. And we're going to get into the internals of this board. Alright. Be careful not to lose the bolts to put the cover back on with. being careful not to pull anything too hard here uh, yeah give me a second I think we need to blow that out just a hair looks pretty rough all right plug your ears okay so what we're looking for is uh, what version of this board we have. And I'm going to see if I can get the camera over here uh, that, to see this. It's pretty small, but bear with me here. If you look, maybe we can see this. Maybe. Yeah, that is as close as it goes. Well, anyway, on your board right down here, which I know you can't see that, it'll tell you the version. And mine is 2.4D. So that's what we're going to be working with. All right, guys. So once again, we're back into the computer. And as you see, I have another Carbide 3D website up. Yes, the link will be in the description. And this one is the one that walks you through the Touch Probe Assembly Guide. Now, if you remember, I said on my board it was version 2.4D. Okay, apparently there's an E version as well. Uh, so it looks like I have one of the newest versions of the board. Wait for that truck or motorcycle to go by. All right, so click on this and it's going to take me straight down to the directions. Um, now, each version is going to be a little different as to how to wire your uh, probe up and it will show you in detail. I'm not going to go through each one of them right now. If you assembled your machine, you can figure this out. So here we go. Version 2.4D. Beginning with version 2.4D, the boards have with a purpose-built connector. I like that. That means that it is ready to go plug and play. Okay, um, so it should have a, a spot labeled reserved. Uh, and all we have to do is connect the touch probe to the reserved header as in the pictures below. Well, let me go see if it has it. It says if it's missing, uh, you got problems. Hey, what do you know? I got one that says reserved. So, 
pretty simple. That's all you do. You just plug that one thing in. So let's get up here, and what we're going to do now is we're going to open up this uh, Touch Pro box in all its glory, and we're going to take a look at it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the star of the show, the Carbide 3D Touch Probe. I think somebody, uh, maybe it was Ben Myers, that uh, referred to this thing as a unicorn in the wild. Uh, well, let me tell you, I've had a few opportunities to buy it and I passed it up because quite honestly, I was afraid that uh, I was going to start updating things and everything was going to go to crap and it just would never work again. But, uh, you know, you got to get over your fear. So here it is. Should we do a sexy slow motion opening? A little bit of Barry White in the background. Oh yeah, I see you in there. Okay, so it comes with a thank you card. Awesome, thank you very much. Some information on it, uh, assembly guide, user guide. So in case you don't get it from this video or the next video, you can go here or here or hell for that matter, there's several other videos out there of people assembling, installing this thing. Go check them out, some of them are pretty good. So we get a card. Touch probe itself. See how we unbox this thing here without messing it up. Well, that's pretty heavy too. All right, so we get the touch probe. It's got a pretty good long cord on it. All right, we can take around, take a look around the touch probe. It's you know solid milled piece of aluminum. All right, pretty sexy. What else we got here? Got us an alligator clip. It's got a little loop to uh, secure it to your machine for grounding. We'll go over that. And then we got this guy. I'm not going to use this guy. This thing right here is going to be for you folks that have some of the older versions of the control board. And this is going to uh, help you install your touch probe under those older versions. But for me, we're not going to use this. So we'll put it back in the box. Anyway, uh, so that's it. And basically what we're fixing to do now is we're going to take and we're going to plug this into the uh, board. And before we stuff the machine back in, well, actually, you know what? I take it back. I can't hook anything up to the machine until it's back in place because the wires aren't long enough. So we're going to plug this into the board, shove the machine back in. Hopefully we did it right and uh, test it out. So uh, let's get to it. Come up underneath here and go through one of these grommets where we plug it in. And just so you know, this is unplugged and it's off. Anytime you work with electronics, you should probably unplug them. And we will plug this guy in. Careful not to bend any pins. Snap. Should be good. Okay, now all we need to do is reinstall this cover and slide everything in. Okay, so now that we've got the actual probe hooked up into the control board, the machine put back, plugged in, now we need to hook up the grounding cable. I've seen several people do it, and one of the most common places I see them do it at is right here, the bolt that the belt tensioner goes to. So we're just going to loosen that up. Uh, we're going to stick that on there and tighten it back down. Just my luck, my belt will snap or something while I'm doing this. Uh, let's hope not. So, speaking of belts, you know, I've been running this machine for over a year now and I'm still using the same belts. That's probably not good. I probably need to, uh, probably need to change them out one of these days, probably. I don't know. If you got a comment about that, let me know how long you've been using yours for. I haven't had one bust yet, but uh, I know it's bound to happen and it'll probably happen while I'm. And we're doing like a, 
a project for like uh, the governor of the state of Texas or something, you know, something real important like, or, you know, yeah, it'll happen when I don't want it to. All right, let's tighten that down a little bit, it's connected. All right, let's get up here and I'll show you what we do to test it now. Okay, so, so I'm not really 100% sure what the correct order to go in this is. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn on my machine just like I normally would. Okay. Hey, look at that. We got a green light. See that? Hopefully you can see the green light on there. It is right here. All right. So I hope you don't feel robbed by this experience. But for this video, real simply put, I'm not here to show you how to use the touch probe today. I'm here to show you how to install it. So what we're going to do is one simple thing to see if everything worked. We are going to touch this alligator clip to the touch probe. If we did this properly, this green light should go off. Ready? Hold your breath or go red. I'm sorry. Go red. Excellent. We have successfully updated our control board, updated our Cobra. Okay. I did that last time, excuse me. We have updated carbide motion. We have installed the touch probe and we have tested it. Everything works. Okay, so here's the deal. We're not gonna go ahead and get into how this thing works today because I'm out of time. You'll have to look tomorrow to see how that works. Um, hopefully, I uh, say hopefully, I'll be able to get this done tomorrow and we'll go over how to operate this thing. But like I said, for today, it was just a, this is how we install it and that's it. Hopefully you'll be able to install your own touch probe. If you were kind of on the fence about doing it, thinking to yourself, well, if I go to update the board, something might get screwed up or this or that. Hey, we just did it. It didn't take much. I will say this. The one thing that I did not mention earlier that I want to make sure you understand is you're going to need to go in to your, what is the MDI settings after you uh, update the control board and put everything back the way you had it. So you might have to uh, make sure that your homing switches are still on. You might have to make sure that your, uh, your bed size is correct. You might have any, any special codes you had put in there to, to make your machine do whatever it is that you had to do. You may have to go back and put it in. So I probably should have said this at the beginning of the video, but you should probably take note of all your settings that you have before you go ahead and update your board. But if not, you know, if you did it once, you can learn how to do it again, or you already know how to do it again. So it's not that big of a problem. So I'm going to quit jabbering, check tomorrow, see if we get another video up on how to actually operate this thing. And guys, thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe down there in the corner and I love you. Have a good day.